Hello there, I am Lance Fensterman. You may know me better as the Grand Poobah of the New York Comic Con, and I'm just here to say what a fantastic company I think that Reed Pop is. Um, Lance, that's your company. What? Get out of here! You're fired, you hear me? Uh, fired! You get back here! Hey, heroes, this is Stan Lee. I just wanted to say what an excellent job I think everyone here at Reed Pop is doing. Thanks, Mr. Lee. We think you're the best. Enough said! Thank you, sir. Hang loose, heroes! Hey, mutant lovers! The Marvel Age of Comics! That, thanks, Mr. Pow! Lee. Pow! Purveyors of Wonder! Jack King Kirby! Uh, Stan the Man Lee! Thanks, Mr. Lee. Enough said! Excelsior! And I said to my publisher, I think we should name him Spider-Man! Uh, all right, Mr. Lee. He'll be a teenager! They'll have real people problems! I wrote for myself! Excelsior! Thanks, Mr. Lee. Jack King Kirby, Jazzy John Ramita. Thank you, sir. Stan the Man, Excelsior. All right, Mr. Lee, we've got to go. The Hulk. Reed Pop he was gray, but then he was green. All right, thank you, Mr. Lee. X Men for extra powers. Comic books. I wrote them. I am here because uh, last October we did New York Comic Con. We debuted uh, the Powers TV show and the comic, uh, the Reed Pop opened their doors to us, gave us the big room, and filled it, and really let us debut in the nicest way possible. We just got our second season yeah, pickup. That's awesome. Things like what Repop did had a big part of it. They couldn't have been cooler. Um, honestly, I think Repop runs shows the way I would want shows run. Like, there's like as, as I've traveled these many years in this business, you, there's there's been great shows and there's been little shows and sometimes you don't know until you get there. Sure. But Repop has mastered it, and I, a show like this that's comics first. Oh my God! I couldn't wait to get over here. Like yeah, absolutely, I would support this. So um, so I, behind the scenes, they do everything right. They treat the creators amazing. I know the fans love it. So I I, I couldn't wait to support this. You're getting a free lunch, Mr. Bendis, for that. Thank you. And I'll do anything for free lunch. <laughs> Alright, Jordan, are you excited? Really excited. Is this your first special edition? Yes. How does it look so far? It looks like a kind of book Disney World. This is awesome. <laughs> we at Read Pop TV are talking to Sue Lee, the critically acclaimed artist of Fight Like a Girl from Action Lab, and has a new title coming out called Hysterics. Sue, what can you tell us about Hysterics? Well, it's an all-female villain team. It's an anti-hero story, and I'm very excited about it. Yeah. So they're pretty much bad guys. They are. They're bad women. Bad women. I'm sorry that, to be more politically correct. Um, so you're writing and drawing it. I am. Is it I the am. first time you're doing something, uh, you're doing all the stuff? It is. It's a lot of work, but I think there will be more rewards. Okay, well, another thing I want to talk Hang to... Hang loose, <laughs> heroes! Excelsior! Uh, Mr. Lee, this is Sue Lee. It... I tell them the story, and they'd write it. The Fantastic Four, they had to pay rent. They said, people don't like spiders, but I said, Spider-Man, so we put it at the end of the book. <laughs> Wish I'd written it. The Hulk, Iron Man, The Avengers, Thor, Steve Ditko was one of the best. Pow! The Marvel Age of Comics. I'd write in the letters, hey, Billy. <laughs> Excelsior. Yo, know, Repop is the place to be. They keep it real. They give it to you as the light. Repop presents it to you the way it should be presented, the way that you live. Well, first of all, I love the fact that Reed Exhibitions is serious about comic conventions and is not only doing the fall convention, which is the best convention on the East Coast in the New York area in the fall or all year round, but the fact that they've added special edition in June at, to really kick off the summer season of conventions in New York. New York used to be number one at comic conventions. They kind of lost it to San Diego. Without Reed Exhibitions coming along in 2006 and reviving the New York convention scene, which is now thriving twice a year thanks to Reed, there'd be no New York uh, convention scene. So God bless Reed Exhibitions, man for really getting behind comics 
and mounting these exhibitions to give people like me a chance to sell my book, to meet other professionals and fans. So it's really a beautiful thing. Yeah, you said that you were really into... Yeah, you know, uh, comic books, really exciting stuff, I, I find. Uh, definitely exciting often. But me, I, I'm more of an NPR nerd, really. Yeah. There, there's nothing to me that's quite as exciting as a, a new episode of All I Things always Cons wanted to be a novelist. I just got into comic books because it's what was hot. But then I just kept writing them. My wife said, Mr. Stan, Leah. write something for yourself. That's Make yourself happy. So I went golfing and I guy? said, what if we did the Fantastic Four? What's a happening? family. They have Lance, to pay rent. And then Spider-Man. He was just a regular kid with problems. Should I just talk And then there him? was Tony Stark. He was a man in a suit. Excuse me, I'm the Grand Poobah. Excelsior. Hang loose, heroes. Pow. Purveyors of wonder. I don't understand any of these references. I think I should get an Oscar for the cameos. The bullpen. Mary Marvel Marching Society. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. Stand tall. It was wonderful. Would you like to hang loose? <laughs>